So for this practice, you will be using the, either the fingertips, the finger pads, or cupped palms. Why? Because we're actually doing something very fun. What, it's one of my favorite practices. It's called the full body tapping. You're actually going to be tapping all the acupuncture points along your body, starting from the top of your head all the way down towards your feet. So let's go ahead and get started. So bring your feet about a little bit wider than your hips, but make them parallel to each other. Then soften your knees and begin with a gentle bounce. Bounce, bounce. You'll be bouncing like this the entire time that we do this practice. You're gonna release, relax the shoulders, relax your belly, relax the jaw, and just let everything in your body relax as you keep bouncing. Imagine that your, your all any stagnant energy that you have in your body, any places that feel tight, they're just kind of loosening up. They're like dislodging from your body and they're just rolling down, rolling down into the earth. Just imagine that's what's happening. We'll begin by taking a breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. <sighs> You'll continue breathing like this the entire time that we do this full body tapping. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, <sighs> inhale, exhale, <sighs> okay, so keep bouncing, keep breathing deep. When we do the full body tapping, we'll start at the top of our head, but we do the left side first, so your left side, and then the right side, and I'll guide you along. So let's get started. Taking your fingertips, start at the top of your head. Tapping. Let the bounce synchronize with your tapping. It's almost like the bounce is what's making your, your hands tap and you're using the momentum of your bounce to tap the top of your head and then really the entire body. So let's go. We're going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tap all around your head. Get into the temple, the side of your head. Get into the back of your head. And then you're on top of your ears, using your fingertips. Keep bouncing, keep breathing. Get onto the top of your forehead. Inhale, exhale. Get all around the eye, the bone that's around your eye. Tap into that. Get the temple of your forehead, your cheekbones, your jaw, your cheek, underneath your nose, underneath your chin, your chin, all around the neck, the throat. Keep bouncing, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale. Get into the chest here. And now we begin with the left side. So now you take your cupped palm and tap the top of your shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your left arm up. Go down the arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clap it out with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left palm up. Go up the arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And left thumbs up. Go down the side of the arm. Two, three, four, five, six. Tap the thumb side. Tap the pinky side. And go up the side of the arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you got your armpit. So tap into your armpit and say with me, I love my armpit. Then go down the side of the rib cage, go up the rib cage, and then you tap it out here to the left lung. And so when we, when we tap into the lung, we're actually gonna take three really big breaths because the lung actually holds on to a lot of grief, a lot of sadness. So when you breathe it out, I want to invite you to like really use that breath to push out any grief, sadness, heaviness that you hold in your lungs. So let's take a deep breath in. <sighs> Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> and one more time. Make it all audible. Inhale. <sighs> And then go to the opposite shoulder. Tap out the right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down the arm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right palm up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down the side of the arm. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Thumb, thumb. Pinky side. And go up the arm. 
up the arm and what did you find? Your armpit, say I love my armpit even though it's sweaty and they'll go down the side of the rib cage, up the rib cage and now three breaths to the right lung, inhale. to your heart center, heart center. So in the heart center, you can use your cupped palm or you can use your finger pads, whatever feels comfortable to you. To do this practice, you're actually using about medium level pressure, not too light and not too heavy, not too intense. Let's go into the right rib cage and then the left rib cage and then all around your belly, all around the belly all around the belly and then into the belly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we're gonna go down the legs starting with the hip crease one two three four five six seven eight nine ten go on top of your feet and then go behind the feet, behind the feet behind the Achilles tendon and then up the calf behind the knees the hamstrings hamstrings and then you got your glutes get all around the glutes then to the side of your hips, side of your hips, go down the side of the hips, side of the thighs, side of the knees, calves, ankles, outer ankle, inner ankle, go up the inner calf, up the inner knee, inner thigh, inner thigh, back into the hip crease. So now here in the hip crease, the hip crease holds on to a lot of anger and ener energy frustration because it's actually connected to the liver channel and we know that according to chinese medicine liver holds on to the energies of frustration resentment anger and so as you tap into this I invite you to breathe and then exhale uh, release any frustration that no longer serves you that keeps you hostage and distracted let's take one more breath inhale exhale let it all go and then you come back into the the belly the belly inhale and exhale and then slowly go ahead release out of that go ahead and bring your hands rub 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 and generating energy and then send that use that hand to sweep down your whole body whole body sweep your arms off like everything that you've just dislodged you're sweeping it all down and giving it away to the earth for balance for healing and then go ahead bring your feet together inhale take your arms up exhale one more breath inhale take your arms up and exhale one more time, inhale and exhale. Here, I invite you to bring your hands by your side and notice what you notice. Notice all the different sensations that you've created in your body from this full body tapping, any tingling, maybe you notice some buzzy sensation, the pulsation, vibration moving throughout your body. Maybe you feel a little bit lighter. Maybe you notice your heart beating faster. Just notice what you notice. Inhale. And then exhale. And then when you're ready, gently as a way to bring your practice to a conclusion, slowly open your eyes. And that's it, the full body practice. I invite you to practice this maybe, maybe just once a day, or maybe a couple of times a day, uh, or really just throughout the week, maybe three, four times during the week. But if you're feeling heavy, or you're feeling really like activated, and just really, really just caught up with something, and you know that you just need a release, this is a great practice to do. Or if you're feeling really heavy and tired and lethargic, then this practice will actually help energize you. All right, so 
Enjoy y'all practice this and let me know how you feel.